So this is what I put on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I basically told this woman, I tagged her in it, said black women are still running with that lie that there's more black men in prison than in college. This is what she wrote. Y'all seen this. Prison industrial complex has more black men in jail than in college. Those are real numbers. We aren't making this up. And those would have been eligible men women could would have wanted to have families with. They still do if they weren't in the system. Do you know that black demographics had already addressed this before? This was from 2009. College and university, prison or a college. This has been a phrase used by many in the media and with organizations who are both for and against black interests. It has become one of the one of those quotes which has ingrained itself in the memories, like I said before, in the memories of Americans so much so that it is assumed to be fact. We have more work to do when more young black men languish in prison than attend colleges and universities across America. This is one of the most misleading phrases used in reference to black men. I got your six, black men. Don't worry. That's why I'm here. This false narrative was debunked in 2009. College and university, 1 million. Black men in prison, 841,000. So right there, and this comes from the U.S. Department of Education, National Center for Education Statistics. And of course, you guys know my rule. I don't just sit there and use old ass statistics. I'm using this for context to show you guys how far this goes back. Now we'd like to take a critical look at a piece of conventional wisdom that you probably heard more than once. You might have heard this in a movie. You might have heard this from a politician. You might have heard this from a TV pundit. But you probably heard that there are more African-American men in jail than in college. Even then, candidate Barack Obama talked about this at an NAACP candidate forum back in 2007. We have more work to do when more young black men languish in prison than attend colleges and universities across America. Now that's a powerful image, but is that really true? Something our next guest has taken a look at. Ivory Tolson is an associate professor at Howard University School of Education. He wrote about this for the root.com and he says- That's wrong. There are 1.4 million black men in college right now and there are about 840,000 black men in prison. That is a huge That's, difference. Yeah. Now, is that because those numbers were always wrong, or are there more black men in college now than in prison now? I believe they were always wrong, and there is some debate about that. The citation of that stat came from the Justice Policy Institute's report, Cell Blocks versus Classroom, uh, which they wrote in 2002. When they uh, analyzed the data, they looked at the National Center for Educational Statistics headcount of black men in college and compared that to the Department of Justice uh, count of uh, inmates at the time. And they came up with almost 100,000 more black men in prison than in college. Uh, now, what's transpired since then is there's been more than the 100% increase in the number of black men in college as reported by the National Center for Educational Statistics. And so what I did was I pulled the data uh, from 2001 uh, that the Justice Policy Institute used. And I noticed that at least 1,000 colleges weren't reporting uh, their headcount of black males then. Uh, and I also noticed that a lot of colleges that didn't report any numbers when Justice Policy Institute wrote their report uh, were historically black universities. Uh, they were, were big state universities that I'm pretty sure had uh, some black males present at the time. Why do you think that this myth has persisted? Yeah, well, in the 90s, there was a rapid expanse of the criminal justice population. Uh, and right now, the rate of incarceration among black males is uh, seven times that of white males. And so I think that we had this feeling that something was wrong, 
And so we got this catchy stat to go along with it. Well, what do you think have been the consequences of this widespread belief? Yeah, do you think, think there is one? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think there's consequences to young black males who are trying to figure out how to get into college. And then they have this ominous stat uh, that they are more likely to go to prison than the college. Also, a lot of people who work with our young black males in high school settings and middle school settings don't really understand the black community that well. 80% of all teachers are, are white. And so if this frames their understanding of who our young black males are, and then their expectations are a little bit lower. I also think it influences the types of programs that we use to help them get into college. Uh, because the way that we have juxtaposed college and prison uh, has led to some erroneous assumptions like uh, if we put in uh, violence prevention programs and gang abatement programs, that's somehow going to inspire young black males to go to college because we've looked at them on this mythical fork, you know, of one foot in college and the other foot in prison. So, so your argument is that this kind of leads to this idea that young black men need to be contained as opposed to encouraged to seek college. Right. And you think well, let's check out here. The United States Census Bureau, new data from the Census Bureau show higher education enrollment data for the fall of 2021 when the pandemic was waning and college enrollments were slowly returning to pre-pandemic levels. In 2021, October, there were 2.7 million African Americans enrolled in higher education. There were 900 and 95,000 black men enrolled in higher education in October 2021 and 1.7 million black women. Thus, black women make up 65% of all African American enrollments in higher education. Enrollments. She said more black men in prison than in college enrolled. For all racial and ethnic groups, women make up 58% of the total enrollments. And also, do not forget, all races of women are enrolled at a higher rate than their male counterparts. All races of women have more degrees than their male counterparts. But all male counterparts earn more than their female counterparts. And for some odd reason, that trips black women up. Because they'll assume that we have more degrees, so we got to be making more money than black men, right? No. Across the board, it's not true. And you could do the research on that. It's crazy ass people, man. So, if 995,000 black men were enrolled in college in 2021, and 722,000 of the total black population, not just black men, were incarcerated, then what does that tell you? Hashtag, we don't trust you. Always trying to lie on black men for no reason. And just for some context, this is from the prison initiative who keeps all the statistics. And this is from every form of prison, federal prisons, jails, so on and so forth. So at the bottom there, black people are 13% of the US population, but are 38% of the people in jails and prisons. And I also put the caveats in there so you guys can see it as well. How many people are locked up in the United States? The U.S. locks up more people per capita than any other nation at the staggering rate of 583 per 100,000 residents. But to end mass incarceration, we must first consider where and why 1.9 million people are confined nationwide. And this is what I was referring to, state prisons, local jails, federal uh, prisons and jails. All this is counted in that 722,000 number. And just for a little bit more essay, because I want to educate the black community and especially black Christians who like to lie on black men. Did you know that the lifetime likelihood of imprisonment for black men has fallen from a staggering one in three for those born in 1981 to a still troubling one in five for black men born in 2001. So black men, black men actually lowered their imprisonment rate from that 20 year period till now. 
from one and three to one and five. Why don't we hear Christians talk about that? If you're going to stick your nose into these relationship discussions and lie to your fellow sisters, why don't you tell them that about how well your black men are doing? But no, you want to sit there and lie to their asses because it probably gets you clicks, likes, and views and keep that money coming in. And black women, I'm getting tired of chastising y'all about this shit. Y'all need to step up. Get off of your couch, open up Google, and start doing the research if you want the black community to change because your men are leaving. Right now, as we speak, one out of five black men are married to another race of women. Out of all the married black men, line them up, five black men. One of those men is married to another race of women. And it's not because they have a preference for those women. It's for the fact that you guys are unfit to be wise because you listen to black feminists like this. Black men are doing exponentially better in every category that that woman mentioned. But y'all will sit there and listen to this woman because it makes you feel good. And y'all can have a kumbaya moment because you picked wrong. Y'all got to stop this shit, man. It's, and I wouldn't even be so passionate about this if it didn't trouble me. The past three weeks, I didn't have to do videos about this stuff. Black women being lied to. I thought y'all were smarter than this. It's a damn crazy ass people, man.